got my jug here and I got quite a bit of volume I need to of liquid I need to add to this thing to cover cover all these uh, circuit cards here this time so I'm going to recycle the um, copper chloride from the last batch because it probably has some active hydrochloric acid still in it and as well copper chloride is a good solvent for copper anyway so all I probably need to add is a little bit little little dash of hydrochloric acid which is this and probably just a shot of water it will be sufficient to raise the level as needed just gonna throw some water in there I think if I should jiggle that around it's gonna be high enough anyway the other thing you add is just some regular hydrogen peroxide just regular store bought it's like 3% it's not a lot add a little bit of oxygen to it get things going uh, or you can put a fish tank bubbler in there speeds the process along as well Okay, an option to avoid having to use uh, hydrogen peroxide in your little digestion tank here to dissolve copper and also to reduce the amount of hydrochloric acid that you need. Um, you can get just a very small fish bowl aerator. All right, an old coffee pot comes in really handy. And uh, old coffee pot maker, these things are so cheap. You can get them on Craigslist pretty cheap uh, just to use specifically for this. I'm quite sure it will ruin it got the heating plate on it uh, glass holds up well and you have the little thing to handle your filters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna siphon the fluid out of this tank down uh, through the coffee pot what we're doing here is just separating the gold from the copper and stuff that's dissolved in the uh, fluid the gold's still solid the other base metals are um, impurities are dissolved in the acid. Most of the gold will stay in the tank, but uh, we don't want to lose any of these fragments either, so that's why we filter it. It's real handy to have a coffee pot, just goes right down in there. All fluids need to be saved. This is uh, toxic, mostly copper chloride not disposal friendly there could be small amounts of dissolved gold in here so we'll save this we can use electrolysis to recover the copper nickel and uh, we could also have it tested to make sure there's not platinum or anything else in there stuff builds up this could be boiled down some too I'm gonna rinse some of this with distilled water Now that the acid's pretty pretty well diluted, I can even reach it there with my hands. Maybe put some rubber gloves on, but uh, I'll get the big chunks out, uh, get them where I can uh, squirt them off, to wash off any gold that might be on them. And then uh, try to wash out as much of the gold as we can get out of there. And get it into this filter paper. <clears throat> An interesting thing I've noticed about some of these cards that I have, from what I can tell, underneath the green paint or the green epoxy coating or whatever there's still um, a big old thick layer of copper that appears to be plated with gold all the way through and through on these cards so um, some of these cards may have an awful lot of gold on them but it takes an awful long time to digest as you can see the it kind of has to because the plastic protects the copper it kind of has to digest from the edge and work its way in you see it's made a lot of progress here but there's still quite a bit left to go so uh, some of these cards will just have to digest for a really long time um, wow there could be a lot of gold on some of these cards I sure wouldn't want to sell these to uh, a scrap dealer because they probably wouldn't know how much gold's on them either You'd pay to process these kind of cards yourself